going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, bitch, the one. <laughs> the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. So, today is not a real recipe, like a recipe recipe. It's like, um, I'm gonna help you motherfuckers out through this motherfucking cold season. Cause the weather is changing. It's officially fall or whatever. I forgot to sh um, shave my armpit. Fuck it, let's do this. Just don't look at my armpits. But anyways, um, yeah, so every, every, my, my husband, Mario, he has asthma. My kids, they, they've been on mocosos lately. Me, I had a cold for like a week. I'm still getting through it, but mostly it was my throat, my ear, and, um, my angina, right? So, I may have been making myself this tea for three days. And yesterday I saw my friend's husband, my friend Sabrina Rincon, bitch, what up? Y este, I, I was like, where's your wife at? And he's like, no, well, she's at home sick. I'm like, did she got the cold like me? Estaba así, que le duele la cabeza, wooty woot woot. So I said, you know what? I have a recipe para un té. Y dice, dile que se chinga el té and she's going to be better. And so... This video is for you, Sabrina. I mean, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you get better. And to all my bitches out there with the cold and shit, aquí te va. Aquí les va. Okay, motherfuckers. So for this recipe, you're going to need half of a red onion. I don't know why they call these bitches red if they're purple. Seriously, I do not understand that shit. Siempre voy a la, to the cucaracha and I'm like, can I get a, una cebolla esa? She's like, cebolla roja? And I'm like, maravillas. So... Um, red onion, but it's purple onion. You're gonna need half of this bitch. You're gonna need some ginger. Gengibre, gengibre. I don't know how they call it in Spanish. You're gonna need, I think I'm gonna use like this, two of these motherfuckers, like this much. Two little balls. And then you're gonna need some garlic. I'm gonna use four garlic cloves, like this. Some limon. I'm gonna use a whole lemon. A lemon and a half, but you could use one if you want. And honey. Honey is very important. Okay. Right here, I have regular honey. This is Subi Clover Honey, product of the U.S. motherfucking A, grade A, bitch. It was $5.99. And then here we have this honey. It's Manuka honey. This honey is very good. When you get like a cut, you put a little bit over it, and it's supposed to be like a natural antibiotic. También is good for UTIs. It's good for a lot of shit. Some fancy shit. This shit was more expensive. But I'm saying, if you just want to use regular honey, then, then use regular honey. Also, bitch, what I'm going to make? I'm going to make some sopita de letras right now for my throat. So let's get this motherfucker pop in. Ready? Le voy a bajar poquito because when you make tea, you want all the juices to get out. You don't want to be like, no man, let you pull it up. Le subes todo and then it's like, okay, no. You want the juices of the shit to get out. So my sheet is rock. So what I did, my garlic cloves, no malos pele. Like this, and then these motherfuckers, I'm gonna poke some holes in them so the juices could get out. I don't have any more fucking, como se dice? Forks. My kids lose all the fucking forks, bro. Like, I don't understand. But, anyways, bitch, I'm excited because today Mario got off at 3. That motherfucker always gets off all late. A veces hasta las 12. But today he got off at 3, so I'm gonna make this quick video and then I'm gonna go enjoy his nalgas. He has, my nickname for him is Pancakes, because he has no ass. <laughs> but they're still fluffy like pancakes. Like, you know, I like that ass. Okay? And then the onion, just cut it in half. And take off the skin. Like this. That's not half, bitch. This is half. Okay, this is half. Pinches uñas, a ver cuando se van a caer. So I could get rid of these holes. But yeah, just take the uh, skin off. You, you get the point, bitch. Put it on the side. And then the limon, we're just gonna cut like a little part like this. Yeah, like that much. And we're gonna put everything in the water, you know, the drill, bitch. Ahí nomás echenle todo, quiten las pinches pellejitos. All up in there. It's simple, but it's gonna work. Trust me, I did it for Mandy too, and it, was, it helped her with her sore throat. See how I have that bitch on low? Like medium kind of, that's how you want it. So all the juices could get sick. letras, I'm gonna use, of course, the sopa de letras bitch right here. Alphabet soup. The brand, Pagasa. Whatever the fuck that is. And I'm using the chicken broth from yesterday. Remember when I made my um, pollo enchile rojo? 
I'm using four tomatoes cut up, some onion, two garlic cloves. How much of this, bitch? A ver, let me see. Let me get my measuring shit. I'm gonna use this bitch. One tablespoon of that, another tablespoon of that. And important, something that I use is this motherfucker right here, tomato paste. A lot of people don't like to use that, but I do. Motherfucker, so I already put some oil, the masola, up in that bitch. Now I'm gonna put two baggies of this motherfucker right there. I'm making a lot because uh, my mom's coming over tomorrow, so she's gonna probably want some. Luego, the trick to this bitch, que lo tienes que mover rápido, wey. O sea, you know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on this bitch. They're little ass hoes. Motherfuckers, I already put everything in there. Like, everything. I just need to put these two motherfuckers in there. I'm trying to cook with one damn hand. Ay, todo por grabar pinches videos, mamona, Erika. Okay, like I said, one tablespoon up in that bitch. Um, that's a tablespoon, I think. I didn't have enough chicken broth. I only had a little bit. So I added four cups of water up in the remix. So it looks like this. Now we're gonna put it in like you one. go, bitch. Power on. And go. For this sofa, you're just gonna move it around a lot because they're little and shit. So they could get burnt really easily. So just move that bitch up like so, motherfuckers. No tiene chiste, way. It's like nothing. Just make sure you already have your um your tomato stuff ready. And my tea is almost ready too, bitch. It's on, um, motherfucker. Before you throw the juice in there, make sure you have like a shield. See? It gets crazy up in this bitch. Now I'm just gonna let it get ready for like five minutes. Because it's a sonic season. I think that's how you call it. Putting that bitch like a little medium to so boil. And close that motherfucker like so. This is how the tea looks. I know it's like really onion, but all that shit is good for you. It's supposed to like open up your, como se dice, sinuses. You know, bitch. Getting all technical. Hey, motherfucker. So the tea is ready. A ver cuánta honey. I love honey. <laughs> and I love limon. It's just a perfect combination. So let me show you guys. Así se mira el pinche té. Ahora le vamos a echar limon. Let me this bitch right here. Mucha limón. Change colors, bitch. Wow. It's like science. I this bitch. It's doing some scientific motherfucking shit. Um, bird the scientist, bitch. Um, I'm gonna add a whole lemon. Para que agarre, you know? Um, the guy in the liquor store told me that I should drink tequila. Ah, no mames. You wanna drink tequila, bitch? You must not know about me. I get crazy, bitch. Um, I don't know if you guys want to watch the video of the stories behind my scars. This is one when I started was drinking tequila. That shit happened. So on my other channel, Cooking with Bird Martinez. No, Bird Martinez. Just Bird Martinez. So I'm going to add the manuka honey. A ver. This one's kind of thick. So it's going to need some hotness in there. Mmm, se mira rico. And I'm also like, gonna add the regular honey. Because, bitch, honey's life. Ahí está. Que bonito. Just mix this motherfucker. Mmm, smells good. And try to drink it when it's really, really hot. So, like that, it opens up your fucking asshole. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bitch, so this is what it looks like. It's all good and shit. Mmm. It's good, actually. It tastes a little bit like onion. But fuck it, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do in order to feel better. Like, I'll drink some fucking asshole juice if I have to. No. I wouldn't drink asshole juice. I'm just being crazy. But, um, I wonder what pussy juice tastes like. Don't excuse my fucking mosca. Because, like, I know there's, like, a lot of lesbians out there. I mean, I know what pussy smells like, but I wonder what pussy juice tastes like. Because, like, I was wa watching this thing on Netflix. It's called Explained. And it was about the female orgasm or some shit. And it said how, what was it? 85% of the males have like an orgasm when they have sex with a girl. 
but only 65% of the females have an orgasm when they're having sex with a, their, their vato, their male partner. And it's like, and then 88% of the, of the, of the lesbian community have an orgasm, like girl to girl. Like, what? You get more orgasms like licking pussy than getting dick? Like, <gasps> what's the tea on that, bitch? Se me cayó poquito. But, I don't know. I've kissed a girl before. Like, two of them. But it's just like, you know, they're girls too. But I couldn't get myself to, like, I grabbed the titty a little bit. But I couldn't get myself to, like, the finger banging and all that. I was like, no, thank you. Not today. So, anyways, drink this bitch as much as you can. I finished one yesterday and the day before. And look, I could breathe. I could breathe up in this bitch. Oh, shit, I forgot I didn't shave my armpits. They're not that hairy. I haven't shaved my armpits, like, in uh -huh, straight up a month. But you know I'm that Aztec bitch? I'm an Aztec fucking prince. No, queen. Get me. I don't even have hairs. Okay, let's check it out for, like, five minutes. See how it's getting ready. With that, we're going to put the water. Five Let me see cups that. of water. Now, I'm just going to put it on high and let it boil. Make sure nothing's stuck in the bottom. And yeah, okay, so when the sopa starts boiling like this, bitch, it's almost time. They like let it boil like this for like, hmm, who knows, five minutes, I'm thinking. But yeah, it's almost time to eat. This one's Mandy's and this one's mine, bitch. I'm just gonna add some limon on hers because she likes hers with a bunch of lemon. You could also add tapatio, you could add chicken in it, you could add, um, Tortillas, whatever the fuck you want. This is what my Mandy grew up on. Sopita. And also when you have a cold sopa with some tea, bitch. Damn. Oh, folks. Ahí está la sopa. Add some tapatillo. I don't need a lot of tapatillo. Okay, bitch. Don't call me out baked Mexican. Because, yeah, whatever. Mmm. Está bien calientita. Yeah, this is good for a cold. Mmm. One more thing. You don't have to use chicken broth. You could use regular, schmegular motherfucking este, water. That's what I use most of the time. Pero si tienes, you know, if you have some este, chicken broth, then use that. Ooh, it's hot. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this recipe. I know it's not like anything fancy, but the cold season is here. You guys gotta take care of each other, take care of yourselves, drink your water, drink your beer, drink your vitamins, eat your vitamins, and don't forget that if you're in a relationship, you're married, you need to like have sex with your partner because you know what? You need that shit in your life. Anyways, to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace.